I'll, I'll start with Duran, who also I heard has more than held his own out there in Vegas and yep. and, is, and has been impressive. Yep. For me, the kid has – I don't want to say kid. The young man has – all of the he, he's one where you can say kid. <laughs> yeah. I think he yeah, no, is I, 20 now, 19, still might be 19. He's 20. Uh, I, think, no. I think, yeah, I think, or he's just about, he, he might've just turned 20 or he's about to turn 20. Um, yeah. I think like oh, you he's said, 19. He's 19, yeah, he's 19. So. yeah, I think he turns 20 in November or something like that. Yeah. Um, offensively, he knows his role right now and he does it well. Like you said, he, he, he truly puts pressure on the rim in the pick and roll. Um, underrated passer you i mean you know how uh, underrated a passer is like the way he i think he's a smart kid i think he has more yeah. he hasn't shown like in spurts it's been too small of samples but like if you have to watch every second of every game like i do it's like oh okay oh okay Th that, that's how i've always felt about his passing like you'll yeah. see these little flashes but it's not consistent enough to where i'm like oh he can really pass like yeah, i'm like oh like there's a world where he might really pass at some point but yep. there are flashes for sure for sure for me, his ceiling is all on the defensive end. Yeah. He has every physical tool. He is a smart kid to be like not just a good defender, an elite rim protector. He has every tool to do it. And yes. I think in his first year, you saw flashes of what it could be. But I think the biggest thing is still just getting adjusted. I think for me, the, the, just the reaction time was just a little too slow still. Um, just just processing everything. Like I, I He's a smart kid. He, he he plays smart. It's just something you got to get used to. And I think once that clicks, if that clicks, like we're like they're in very very good shape. I just defensively, he has all the tools to be great. He can guard in space. He has good footwork. Um, he can he can jump. He he, he can see help coverages. Like he has it. He just got to do it consistently. And then Isaiah Stewart's the other one. And I say that I know. Pistons fans think I have like an Isaiah Stewart tattoo, but I generally just to me to see where he was when he started to where he is now. And I'm not saying like he's turned into this all world player, but you've seen noticeable improvements in his game every single year, even if it's minuscule. And like last year, you saw the three ball on decent volume for the first time in his life. Mm -hmm. You saw him get run off the three point line and make some nice reads, go finish and do a nice dunk. Um, yep. we've, we've talked about it at na ad nauseum him showing, and it was a thing at Washington because they played so much zone. There was question if he could guard in space, he guards pretty well in space. Like I don't, uh, I, I remember asking him about guarding man to man, it uh, pisses him off. <laughs> he gets yeah. mad. Like he gets he mad. Gets, he's like, he Oh yeah, we'll pissed. see. Like, yeah. he's like, I've played man to man defense my entire life up until I played at Washington. Yeah. I can guard and I can guard in space. I can guard man to man like he gets mad about it it's he the best it's and so i love awesome. it <laughs> yeah it's so awesome man and i just think that off i believe in the shot as like a guy who could easily knock down 35 percent from three regularly on like four or five attempts a game um i just think if he's able to play with duran and the spacing works and he's yeah. able to knock down that it, because of what he brings defensively and what him and Duran could bring together defensively, if his shot translates like I think it can, I just think that really changes the trajectory of things because I'm not concerned about Kate. Like I think Kate's going to be fine. I'm not honestly, yeah. Jaden, Jaden like surpassed my expectations last year. Like I'm not really worried about yeah. Jaden and I'm not worried about Boyan. I'm not worried about Asar. Like, those guys are going to be fine. Whether Asar is going to obviously, there's a ceiling he can get to if he can shoot. Yeah. But even if that doesn't come for a little bit, this is a guy that's going to contribute to winning basketball at some point in his career. So to me, it's like if Duran and Stewart, Duran on defense and Stewart on offense, if those things click, that changes, that could change the trajectory for the Pistons sooner rather than later, in my opinion. Yeah. And it, for people that, you know, may not remember the early Phoenix Suns under Monty Williams, like, it was pretty immediate in terms of the difference for DeAndre Ayton defensively as well, mm -hmm. especially by the second season under Monty Williams. He got DeAndre pretty engaged defensively now, you know, according to reports. I, I don't have <laughs> firsthand information of this. That yeah. relationship may have changed in some fundamental way. But there is real reason to believe that 
Monty Williams will do really good work with Jalen Duran because you're a hundred percent right. He has every tool, every, you know, bit of length, wingspan, athleticism, power, physicality, willingness to be physical uh, instincts is a defensive rebounder. Like he has everything that you look for. He just isn't instinctually aware enough right now. Like he mm-hmm. is not, he, he doesn't really have a great idea of how to garden ball screens yet particularly yep. is the thing that drives me nuts. Yeah. Uh, I thought he was a pretty negative defender last year. It's why I ended up with him second team all NBA. And like, he was like, you know, I think my ninth or 10th best rookie last year, basically. And that's, that's because fair. Of, yeah. Like I thought that the defense was quite poor, but he's got every tool to be great. Like he can be a top 10 center in the league. He is like low end all-star upside. I think like it could mm-hmm. really end up there if it goes right for him. Uh, It just he needs to really focus on that end more than the offensive end, because all these dudes, Jaden, Asar, Cade, they'll find him. He can get four points in transition alone every game. He can get four points on the offensive glass every game, and then he can get six points, you know, just rim running every game. And then you look up, that's 14 points a game Mm -hmm. without him having to create a shot. Without him having to do anything, you know, in terms of handle or, you know, on the block or anything. So it's, there's a lot there, I think, for him to be able to do. Uh, He can can do enough offensively without really working on that part of his game as much as the defensive end. I, I hope he really works on the defensive end. And yeah, I agree with you on Stewart. Like, Stewart is a part of this core. I know Pistons fans, like, often forget about him and and like, you know, think that you talk about him too much, but he is a part of this core. He was a piece of the first Troy Weaver draft and he's the one that worked like for that reason alone, he's going to be a part of it, let alone his play. Like he deserves real credit for what he's done. He gets better every year. Like you said, you know, and people forget too. sorry to interrupt you. He's still only 21. Like he's, no, he's a young, very young. 21. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he just turned 22, but yeah. yeah or he like, just turned 22. Sorry. Yes. He is, he is somebody that is willing to change his game to be able to make it work uh, for him. Like you look at him, he shot 55% from the field uh, as a rookie and then shot 44 this year. That might look quite bad, but the reason for that is that his shot diet has changed entirely. He hasn't gotten worse at finishing at the rim, Although I'm sure statistically it says that the reason that he's gotten worse at finishing at the rim is that he's not getting spoon spoon fed everything right at the rim. Like he's now, like you said, attacking a closeout occasionally. He has to create his own shot at the rim occasionally. And then on top of it, he's shooting from three. Now the big thing for him is the processing on offense. Like he needs to be able to make passing. It's not just like attack a closeout to finish. It's attack a closeout make a quick reversal. It's yep. just the the quick decision making for him that needs to speed up and I think it'll come. Like he's he's a worker, he's a battler. Like th- that's the dude that you want on a team. Like you want him on the you team. You bet on those guys, yeah. Because he's a hard worker and you want him on the team because he's the dude that will stand up for Cade, for Jaden, for Asar, for Jalen Duran if he needs it, although physically he certainly doesn't. Like <laughs> yeah. he's the one that will be tough and physical and will bring everything that you want from that kind of perspective. I think like he's, he's a perfect guy to give the contract they gave him in my yes. opinion. And and to take it a step further. And I know it's probably hard for fans to envision it because it hasn't happened. That's the type of big two you want in the postseason. A guy. Who I can, think so too. If you, the passing who, and decision-making yes. comes. Yes. Right. But especially defensively who can guard. We'll go one through four five depending on who the five is right but like there's a reason that boston has tried to get him that new orleans has tried to get him you don't hear about charlotte trying to get him you don't hear about uh mm-hmm. the, 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 the all due respect the bottom feet these are playoff teams who have tried to get him because they see the value it goes beyond aesthetically how it looks like you have to get past the aesthetics of isaiah stewart like it's not always going to look pretty how you've learned new age basketball players to look, but you see the development and you see, even if it's just something minuscule as in like, again, closing, attacking the closeout and making the right, like a cross court pass once every three games or just figuring mm-hmm. those things out, man. Cause that's just not stuff he was doing early on. And 
Um, he's had to adapt his game. Like you said, he's not a lob threat. He's not. Um, no. He, he, he's not a lob threat, and he's not – and he and he's fine with that. And he knows that, but he's also a guy that's going to put in the work and do, like you said, do what he needs to. So I'm glad that you're banging the drum too, because I know Pistons fans are tired of me saying it. So I'm glad somebody from outside of the circuit, uh, the, the 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 Detroit circuit, is 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 agreeing with me. So I don't sound like a crazy person every time I I talk about it. No, like I I think he's like a legit top six player on a good team at some point. Like, I, I truly believe that. Like, it might be as a third big that plays 27 minutes a night or whatever, but it also might be as a starter. Like, yeah. that that's a real potential outcome for him, in my opinion. 